Yeah. yeah! Hey, Carl! Hi. It's the program! We're on TV! <laughs> Sweet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens here on the show? We turn on the machines, and then we start talking. We're gonna be talking here for an hour. It happens every day. I can talk for three. Three hours? Yeah? Well, yeah, but we're not gonna try three hours. No, you, you can try it. You hold it, you gotta hold the mic up to your face. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. There you go, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I could talk for three hours, but we're not gonna try doing that. Yeah. Bird is here. Bird, maybe, maybe Carl we is your friend, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I think that's one of the um, uh, things on the Book of Revelations. You know, when you get a crazy man a microphone uh -huh. and starts talking for three hours, uh -huh. you know, that causes the end of the world. Uh-oh. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Okay, right. so we'll cut you off uh, in one hour. No, but the world needs to end. <laughs> does, that have to be, does that have to be three hours in a row? Three I, hours well, in a row. Well, three hours in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll come back for two other times. And then the world will end after that? No. Oh, okay. It's okay it has to be in a row. <laughs> the world ends every day. It has to be in a row for Dan. It always starts back up again. <laughs> yeah. No. No, so, you can't say that. Carl, have you ever been on TV before? Every minute. Uh, yeah, n um, probably not. No, not on the news or other public access or anything like that before? I, well, I'm not newsworthy. Uh huh. Or I, at least I haven't been newsworthy in the past. Yeah. You might be in the future, though? <laughs> no, <laughs> you never know. Yeah. You're not newsworthy? I'm not newsworthy. You never did anything. You, but usually people on the news, it's, <laughs> it's not because they're newsworthy. I think it's usually because they're just around newsworthy things. And they just end up seeing an event, and they're standing there, and they're like, Hey, what, did you see this event? And then you say, you know... Like Forrest Gump. You were all, you were around <laughs> Occupy Olympia. I know I know Carl from Occupy. Oh yeah, is that where you met him? Yeah. Well, you did, did you camp there, Carl? Uh, no, I did not camp there because uh, I <coughs> I have a cold now. Uh, oh no, you <coughs> and have a cold. And it's freaking August. When did you get a cold? Are you gonna get? Are you gonna get us sick? I don't want to get sick. Um, no, I'm gonna cough it's away not, from you. It's oh, not it's, yeah, it's look not up, a look up the It's not contagious cold. No, it's not the measles. But it's a cold, or though. mumps. Well, you... We'll, we'll make it's sure just not a cough. To how far, how how far into your cold are you? I'm hopefully... <laughs> I don't get this cold. <laughs> don't test. Don't test nature. Don't test science. I really don't want to get sick, <laughs> but that's, that's okay, though. Well, uh, maybe you're already sick, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. I sure hope not. <clears throat> you never know. Some, some people are sick and they don't even know it. Yeah. The world just ended. Bird. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Carl, you seen anything on the, on the streets lately? You see any uh, any accidents or anybody uh, fall down or like uh, uh, something weird? Uh, no, n not too much. Nothing. Maybe a a dog. You seen any dogs on the street? Well, I saw a bird that was hopping. I just came back from uh, Buddhist meditation, uh -huh. and uh, there there was a, a bird that was hopping outside the window um, that I was, uh, you know, in the uh, Buddhist center that I was at. And there was a, a car that was driving by, trying to um, um, be its, uh, you know, some sort of uh, a car shield to this. Um, um, bird that was just kind of trotting around on on the road, and it was kind of interesting because uh, usually you don't have human beings try to, uh, I guess I don't know, try to protect animals. Uh huh. You know, usually you know you're just like get out of my way so I can go to Starbucks or I can go to McDonald's or you know I anyway. Um, don't like Starbucks or McDonald's. Uh, well, I've, I've been to Starbucks and I've been to McDonald's, but that's pretty inf infrequent. Okay. Yeah, so the bird, they were protecting the bird from what? Um, just oncoming traffic. You, you know, and so I kind of, uh, I uh, had my shoes off, 
uh, you're supposed to have your shoes off as you walk around on the, uh, the, uh, what, tatami? Carpet. Do they, oh, they have tatami mats, or this is carpet there? That they have a they have a carpet inside, and it's white carpet, and you're trying to be respectful to the, uh, I guess the Buddhist med- um, tradition. Uh huh. Um, so I, I put my shoes on, and I just I, I was just watching this uh, bird in in this um, you know the soul kind of scene unfold, and um, um, you know it was just kind of interesting that you know the uh, people were you know had a, a real specific intent in 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 trying to satisfy the needs of the bird they're trying to stop the bird from getting hurt indeed what was something wrong with the bird was it like limping or something it was uh limping and i uh, i guess babes basically it was getting too old to fly but i you don't think know it was old it, it might have been old you but I, i'm not a bird um um birdologist birdologist yeah <laughs> What do they call it? That's just some... To par- uh, I don't know the word is. Ornithologist. Ornithologist, that sounds right, yeah. Well... They usually study, like, different species and habitats and... Yeah. You know, identification. How much are you into birds? a better veterinarian to see if it was sick. Oh, Wait. yeah. But, you know, the, the, the bird uh, kind of disappeared. Um, um, uh, five minutes later, I was uh, about ready to go, but I wasn't quite ready yet. And I just, you know, again, I saw this um, bird outside this, you know, large pane window. Uh-huh. Um, it, it, it's th- there, uh, you know, next to uh, um, Heritage Park, um, did, that Buddhist center that I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Did you see, did you see the, uh, the bird while you're meditating? Did that, like... No. It, was it weird that you were meditating, maybe, and then you saw the bird right after that? Was that some kind of, like, a maybe transcendental experience or something? Cause it was well, meditation? no, I know. Well, we, uh, we had cleaned up, and I had blown out the candles already, and uh-huh. we were just, I counted out the money. And I was basically in a position to uh, re- leave in about five minutes, and I just saw the bird outside the window, and it was just yeah. like, wow, you know, th- this is... Uh, you know, the, this could be like Buddhism unfolding in action right before my eyes. So it was just kind of interesting. Do you, do you know that? Are you a practicing Buddhist or you do this or? Uh, I'm practicing many things. Yeah. Do you do the the chanting? It's like nam nam no or something like that, right? Well, actually, I have um, medicine Buddha. Uh-huh. Um, uh, uh, a mantra on my phone, and I have other mantras as well. And on your phone? On my phone. What is, what's on your phone? That's uh, they're they're called mantras. Uh huh. And like you keep repeating the same phrase, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. But your phone tells you what what phrases to repeat. Uh, well, it's not really in English that I I. You know, but I, I mean, even though it's not in English, uh-huh. you know, that doesn't negate the, the fact that the mantras, you know, Whoa. could be helpful. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it shocked me. It just sounded weird. That was pretty freaky. Oh. I'm just trying to plug it in. Oh, it's... <laughs> that was scary. Don't be a help bird. Yeah, it almost yeah. feels like I got shocked, but it, it wasn't. Yeah, it was maybe like it's a placebo shock. Psychosomatic shock. Here's a, here's yeah. a message. Yeah. Just thought I'd uh, call you. Uh, oh, is this you, Carl? Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, Carl. Um, just thought I'd uh, call you <laughs> and say hi. Um, make sure you get around 9 o'clock. Did you out? Call up last well, night. Would be, uh, I left a voicemail and he called me back and we oh, nice. chatted for about so, uh, two minutes. Is this from last night? <laughs> no, it's from last week. Uh, last month. <laughs> that must have been yeah, must have been yesterday. Well, yeah, I think we did, we covered what you said in that message because you're here now. We got some more messages from Mr. Ginsu. Mr. Ginsu, he is a cursor. Like uh, he uses curse words. I don't know. Are you offended by that, Carl? Is that okay? We. I think Miss No, Thomas I have virgin too. ears and <laughs> yeah. the virgin mind and the virgin viewers, never mind. Viewers, if there's young children, you might want to cover their ears. Yeah, okay. Beware. Definitely 
turn down the volume if there's talking about people. The playhouse young people. Oh, wait, it's time for the dice game. Okay. Dice game. Sorry, Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, we'll get back to this Mr. Ginsu message in a minute here. Do you know how to play the, play the dice game, Carl? Uh, I'm going to roll sixes. Okay, okay well, we have to, right. yeah. We're, we're <laughs> you only have to guess one six. Yeah, we get the number, and then uh, we're going to try to... But you don't have to tell us, because when if you tell us, then I might it might affect how I guess, too. Yeah, let's see, where's the pen? I think I see one up there. Do you see? Oh, there's a, that Sharpie right there. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's actually a six that has been uh, rolled right side up. Ah. All right, here you go. Here, Carl, you want to write your number? Sure. Or you can write it, too, yeah. You guys will write them. So, did you... Do you have the Occupy shirt? Do they have more of those? I want an Occupy shirt. Oh, God, no. It's... I wonder what's become of Occupy Olympia. Yeah, they're still doing something, huh? They don't seem to be doing a lot of things anymore, which is kind of depressing, but, there, you know. There's the dice of Carl there, uh, behind... Oh, you got them. The, All the, right. the, there's always things that, you know, hopefully, you know, we can get started up again. I don't know. All right, here we go. Here's the dice. Oh, four and six. Oh. I told you. I told you I'd get a six. I told did, did you. Did you win? Did you write your number? Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, you didn't write it. You got to write it. I guess it counts, though. Okay. Oh. You got to write your number, though. I believe you. But you said you had a six, so you won. What do you have, Bert? You have a six also? Yeah. I had a five. I didn't win. You guys won it. It is a funny five. I could no, say it's a no, six almost. No, this, this, I'm going to get a one or a three. A one or a three, huh? How about that? Or uh, a one and a three? Well, you can't well that means you already lost. You should have <laughs> you should have kept your six. So I guess you can do that, but you you missed your chance for this one. You you rolled and then you chose the number. Why didn't you choose the number? Oh, that was the I winning number. Two. No, I I a, we, had a, we had to wait I now. I get it. We, we don't do any more dice games Forget until it. after the next commercial Forget break. Forget it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But I got a two. Yeah. It's another one or a three. It's in the middle. Two. Uh -huh. Probably. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I have a bird story, too. Oh, yeah? It's a secondhand bird story, though. Um, All your stories are bird stories. I, I like that we, we somebody don't like was birds. protecting a bird. Well, actually, I have two. Two. The first is a firsthand one. I was, like, driving home from hiking in the Olympics, and... For some reason, I was kind of like, sort of maybe going slightly too fast, and two birds landed on a bridge, and there was a car oncoming on the bridge, and I didn't slow down, and the birds were right in front of my car, and I hit both of them. Oh it was my the gosh! First time, I killed two birds. They didn't fly away. They tried to at the very last minute, oh, but for what? some reason, I think they were in love. Oh, and you killed Lovebird? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad, huh? I was going to say, we don't want your second-hand donated bird so story. What that's kind of that's kind of like the opposite of Carl's story. Did you just ride but by then, them? But then yeah. I talked to a friend today who had a really awesome bird story from well, this morning. What, what happened to the dead birds? Are you, they, you just hit them and then they were just on the ground and you drove away? Or? They, I heard the thunk and I was like, I should go back and make sure they're dead. And I didn't do that. I just kept driving. I slowed oh, down and I grieved for like 10 or 15 minutes pretty heavily and there were two other people in the car and they assured me that it's not the first time that birds have been hit by a car and that, you know, it happens and it's so, sad and, yeah. it, you know, it was the first time that I've ever done something like crazy, that in my whole life. Down. I've never killed a, an animal with my car that I know, like a bird, like, you know, I've killed insects, if I see course, birds, but If I see birds in the road, I won't slow down because I think they're going to move, I just keep going, so... Uh, yeah, I would have hit a bird too. It was weird. There yeah. was a car coming on the, and we passed like at the same time I passed this car, I hit the birds. You know, it was like this, like triple thing. Yeah. But I, my, I talked to a friend today, who was watering her garden with the water, and a hummingbird came up, and was dancing through the water while she was watering, and hovering like right by her, and went up and hovered right in front of her heart. Wow. And just sat there and then went and perched on top of something nearby and spit water out of its mouth. What? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Today, I have a, that happened. 
I have a hummingbird story that my parents told me. Uh-huh. As long as we're telling about donated bird, bird stories yeah. at second-hand store, you know. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Tell the story, Carl. Um, my parents have uh, hummingbird feeders, and they've been <coughs> um, feeding um, hummingbirds a lot. <coughs> this uh, past year... We had um, a huge, they had a huge amount of hummingbirds that they were feeding uh, with the uh, sugar water and a little bit of food coloring or whatever. And um, so um, on one particular day when I guess the birds were petering out, you know, just tapering off and moving onwards, um, the, uh, there was a, <coughs> like a for bird. the day, they were kind of going to sleep. Well, I, I guess they were migrating to, uh, I, I guess north or south. I don't know where they go, but you know, the, they, um, um, the the the, ba- the demand was uh, shrinking for for the water uh-huh. for the food, and and so this one hummingbird, it just came over by my mom, and it was zipping away. You know, like maybe five feet or fifteen feet or whatever, and it came back and it was going back and forth a little bit, at least two times. Mm-hmm. And then the bird sped away, and so my mom was thinking as she was telling me the story in the car uh, later on that you know the hummingbird might have been saying, "Thank you, we have to go now, but I want to thank you." And that sounds nice. Totally. Like, bye. Oh, I really appreciated you. Bye. Yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah. The hummer was talking to your mom. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, human um, beings don't really know a whole lot about uh, the nature that the, you know, mother nature. What are they thinking? The intelligence of animals. What, yeah. are, the, what are those birds thinking? Yeah, what kind of emotions do they have? You know, what kind of emotional intelligence, maybe, yeah. and perceptions, sensations. You Are you close to Bird's Bird? Do you name yourself Bird? Is this supposed, because you don't spell mm. like Bird, is it supposed to be like a bird, or is it just I, like... I, even before deciding to go by Bird, which I did about three years ago. Uh-huh. Is, this, was, is it a homonym, reasons, yes. Um, or is that what it's called? I, I related to birds, uh-huh. and I enjoyed making bird sounds, and I, I like to whistle. Can you like, make bird sounds? <laughs> That's your very... <laughs> uh-huh. No. You named yourself, you like to whistle? <laughs> you like to make a bird? Yeah, I like whistling. Should so we I have like a concert? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We should have a concert. <laughs> well, a whistling concert? Bird concert. Are you good at whistling too, Carl? No, uh, oh yeah, you can do it. Yeah, we can all whistle here. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Hey, it's the first day we of should, August. We should. Oh yes, it is the first day of August. We should talk about that. But I also want to talk about at some point where we met at Lake Fair and and people recognized you when we were standing there talking with you by the fun zone. Oh yeah, uh, I think I've talked about that in the past though, but. Oh. We well, don't have to talk about what that. What happened was somebody, like, oh, I've, I hardly ever get recognized. It's only been, like, a couple of times. But that was one of my favorite ones because she just came up to me and she's like, are you, you on, on TV? T- yeah, are you on TV? <laughs> and I just said, yes. And she's like, oh, great. I was like, she didn't say, like, like good job or anything or, like, or like bad job or, like, I want to come on the show or whatever, anything like that. She was like, oh, yeah, which is good. Maybe maybe she was awkward in your the aurora of your celebrityness. Yeah. Now now you're there too, Carl. I'm gonna people are gonna oh see you. Oh God! Have you ever had people be like, "Oh, I want to be on your show"? I have. People say they do, and then they don't want to call. You gotta call the number, everybody, to get on the show, or you see me at Lick Fair. I got on through Lewis. Yeah. Oh, I love Lewis. You watch TV, Carl? Thank you, Lewis. I don't have a TV at home, actually. You know, you do YouTube or some Hulu. I I do. <coughs> I do a little bit of YouTube every now and then, but I mean, it's like 
Yeah. You don't like to watch, like sit down and watch some programs or anything. We'll talk about this more after the commercial break. Whoa, is that half an hour? <laughs> dance, holy dance. Dance, holy dance. Dance, holy dance. Um, Live TV dance in 20 minutes. Mm. So first 20 Friday minutes, of the first each commercial month. Break. Seems about 8, 8 p.m. 10 minutes to 9 game, p.m. 20 minutes first commercial break. TCTV Studio A, four forty Yager Way. Oh yeah. Are we live? Hyper live. We're, we're oh wow. Cool. Our computer monitor becomes so it won't be edited. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our code. Live to tape looks like we're live. Hyper I feel hyper live. It's not true, but it is. I made that up, but somebody, you, not, somebody made it up. You start to realize. Yeah. It's all it becomes like harder and harder. Time yeah. Oh man, time while. travel messes here with your mind. Every, life is time travel. Yeah, we're time traveling, everybody. We're in last week. You guys are in the future. I don't know what's happening in the future. Car, Doctor you're gonna have to, who? Yeah, you're going to have to find a place to watch this. You can watch it on YouTube, Doctor actually. what? Uh, but, Carl, you can send the, or tell, tell yourself in, in a week you, when you watch this on YouTube, you think you're going to watch it? Um, yeah, well, then, then um, sure, I... Yeah, you can tell yourself. You got, yeah. <laughs> you can tell yourself. Kenny, do you watch the shows every day? Do you, how I watch often them, do you watch? I probably watch them about two or three times a week. I'm pretty busy. So sometimes I'm not home. But if I'm sitting there watching the TV, which is often, I'll, be, I'll watch the show. I like to play video games while I watch the show. Actually, I like to play games while I watch any TV, though, so... I like it on YouTube because I can, like, rewind it if there's something... Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's the thing about YouTube. But you could you could tell yourself a message, Carl, if you wanted to remind yourself something of <laughs> in the future, forever, you know, you can you can remind yourself. And also you can tell the viewers, too. It might be something you want to tell the viewers and yourself in the future. Well, yeah, I mean, I, since I got an iPhone, I got all these notifications and reminders and everything, and sometimes the phone just, like, beeps at me, and it's like, yeah, I don't have those engagements anymore, like the uh, Occupy Political Action Work Group, um, you, you know, Occupy uh -huh. Olympia. Um, I still have those, you, you know, on my phone, and I probably should take them off. Because that's every week or something? Um, has been every week, then it moved to twice a week, and there was still no enthusiasm, so, you know, just like... Fizzled? It, it fizzled. Yeah. You know, it's like, just like kind of interesting that, you, you know, you can't get people together and talk about stuff and have a course of action and, you know, try to get something before what city you guys have the council... Office, right? It's hard to find common ground. What sometimes. happened to the office? Basically stopped using it. You uh, know, the campground went away. The encampment and the the urgency, the you know, sense of re like the realness of it. Kinda. Is it all done? Is there any like even Occupy like Wall Street? Is that done with too? I don't believe so. I I think that that's still going on. There's still a camp um, there. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but at least you have a critical mass that when people, some people lose interest, other people join up. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, there was such a sh short supply of people that were available in Olympia that people just kind of, you know, once there were people that were leaving, you know, there was not any people, you know, joining up because... Yeah. People are Maybe people do a lot of stuff. People are really busy here, and there's a lot of reasons for you know why people aren't weren't getting more involved, and it's complicated. And All right. Well, here, here's yeah. another Mr. Ginsu message. Oh no. Yay. Hey. Oh yeah. Cover your ears, young one. Cody was talking about dude down at the playhouse or something. They don't know where he went. Oh yeah. So okay, this guy, this guy from the the playhouse last week freddie announced that he was uh missing it's true but yeah. now he was found he's found and after he two days. had child pornography on his computer they they searched his house while he was missing and apparently felt the need to get on his computer well, and we can see where it went maybe yeah 
Yeah, to maybe find any messages that he had left or see, see what he was working on the last time he was working on it. And where he works with the kids so, too, you know. That's true. It's kind of a scary thing. It's I know a lot troubling. of kids who have gone through that that program. I don't know. Hopefully, he didn't do anything to them. Yeah. I don't know if they're they're looking into that, but all I thought was there's a, there's good people at Capitol Playhouse. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people liked him. He he's the uh, music. Did you know him? Well, he's he's innocent until proven guilty too. But he's also the music director at a local church, and I go to so. that church. Oh yeah, you think that he he might not even be guilty, but the newspaper already said that he had it, so everybody thinks that he's just. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's possible that somebody went into his house while he was missing. Somebody could have fed him some crazy drugs and gone into his house and put this stuff on his computer. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody who hates him. You that, know, that would be pretty far out. There, I mean. That's, it's possible. That's the thing that I think happens. Like if you uh, get accused of that kind of thing, it, you kind of just get stuck. <coughs> even if you didn't do anything, you get stuck with it forever. Yeah. Well, it'd be nice to know if he has any major enemies. You know, if there's. I'm sure he has a few. He has to, that stands out he has to like cut that. a lot of kids for plays. They want to do because the plays. Because strange things have happened in this town. You know, with yeah. attacks on people. They yeah. lost him or something. Well, I heard that guy got arrested. Yeah. For having kitty porn. I yep. Think that was the deal. That might not be true. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I heard I thought oh, yeah, somebody Gibson's downtown the there. Thing that's where he went. Right? So, that's what I heard. I they found him, too, though. Somebody did that just today. That's it. Down, down, get a kitty porn. Yeah. So he might not be missing as far as you think. Did he get a wrist? Yeah, um, I gotta stay away from that kitty porn, everybody. Yep. Well, um, this kind of, uh, you know, is uh, a little bit personal to me because I, you know, uh, he goes to my church and. Oh, I, the guy does? Yeah, the the um, uh, Troy uh, Fisher. Uh huh. That's his name. Yeah. And uh, he is. Um, and that, what church is it? Olympia Unitarian Universalist. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, well, you are Unitarian. <laughs> I am a Unitarian. Oh, yes. Carl, I've, it's such a good church. Yeah, I've, I told, I've, I always say that I think the Unitarians they should become Catholics <laughs> because I don't think they're I think they're doing this church thing where it's like half church. I think, oh, you should, God. I think you should just go all out with the church, and I, I've been saying this on the program for a while, and I, so I'm not. I'm not you mean Unitarians should take over the Catholic Church? They should. I think they should occupy. Get, I think the Unitarians <laughs> need a, a God. I don't, I don't like. I don't like the lack of religion in the religion. I want. Um, I want to. I want to see you get uh, a. Hey, excuse me. There's <laughs> plenty of uh, religion in Buddhism. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that's good. You're doing the Buddhist thing, but I think with the Unitarians, I want them to have. A god. Well, there's plenty of religion in, in Unitarianism. Is, is they believe too. in all religions, don't they? Y yeah. Well, you yeah. can't do that. You sort have the, the religions say you're not so. to believe in each other. Well, fire and brimstone um, always, always, you know, is is is, is great. Yeah, well, you, okay. you know, if you're in Christian or if you're, you know, in Islamic, it's like but I mean... Fear-based. Kenny thinks you should in insert some fear. Oh! Something. If it's going to be church you shouldn't be doing that kind of thing but i want to hear about so the guy went to your church yeah yeah uh yeah he's done music director there he's uh -huh. the, the choir and piano so you heard when he disappeared then did you hear about it uh yeah i was pretty shocked about that <coughs> but they found him i wonder where he went he um was on um, apparently um under a bush or something and he, he walked to um olympia he looking, safeway he was under a bush for like a week? Yeah, uh, two days. He was missing for two days. What, why, what was he doing under bushes? Well, y you're going to have to be to, determined. I, well, I, I don't, don't know, know that um, his uh, steps could really be uh, retraced now that he was coming out of a haze or or whatever. But he saw a payphone at um, he, like uh, he had been, Safeway. He had been drugged or, or what, what kind of how did he get into a haze what is that that's, that's well, far out yeah, yeah uh, it, 
That's what Bird was thinking, maybe, that he was attacked. Well, I think he yes. may have been drugged and set up. It's possible. And then he, so he woke up from some kind of crazy haze? Well, yeah, I don't know. We all have our problem with uh, um, stress. Uh-huh. And and so... Um, so maybe he was on drugs, is that what you're saying? Or? Well, th- th- that, you know, I, Troy works really hard at his job. Uh-huh. And, and so I think that he just... Oh, we all lost this one. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. I, I think that, uh, you know, I was working hard at Goodwill back in the day, uh-huh. um, um, three, four years ago. Yeah. And um, maybe it has been five years ago now. Um, and uh, uh, the stress makes you do crazy things. Mm-hmm. And, and so, you know, he's got some insomnia and... Um, um, I just, you know, I think that, uh, he needs to, um, find, find a, a better place to be at. Oh, Troy yeah. Fisher? Right. He was working at Goodwill five years ago? Oh, no, I was. Oh. I so was. So you're relating to the stress. I, I, yeah, yeah, um, uh, uh, stress for me is, is like... Oh, I don't even want to go there. So that's why I found Buddhism in. Yeah. So he, but he, so he was disappeared for like a week. And Two then, days. And then he he wandered out of the bushes and it was at the Safeway. And yeah. somebody found him there. Yeah, West Olympia Safeway, but it was two days. Clarification. Uh huh. Okay. And then two he, days. But then he was just like wandering around there and like he was in a haze and somebody's like, hey, I. He walked in or? and he was like, I need help. No, uh, yeah, he went to a telephone booth and dialed what nine one one. Oh yeah. As he was getting towards the telephone booth, he was like, have it, had his uh, thumb out and whatnot. And, and he's like, I'm confused. Or yeah. Oh man. Hmm. So, but then they found wonder, the child porn there. Is he not? Does he? Is he uh, denying that now? Or? I, I he has denied that. Um, it has been um, two pictures, and so. And it's, um, like, not, like, homemade or something, right? Well, no, it's not homemade. It's not of the pictures of the children in the playhouse. Yeah. And so I've been, um, uh, I actually went to the Olympia Police Department today. Oh, yeah? And I filed a request. Uh-huh. It probably uh, probably won't get honored, but um, I have made a dedication to myself to go back to the... Um, Olympia the police department every five business days uh-huh. if I don't get an answer. What are you doing with them? I, um, I'm i requesting, since it's n- publicly known that he had two pictures on his computer, it, it, two pictures seems to be a little um, interesting to me. Like Yeah, it seems like if you were into that, you would have a lot to me. Yeah. Yeah. Two seems a little suspect. Well, uh, Co- uh, Cairo, uh, according to Cairo, two pictures is a stash on 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 Cairo.com, and and uh, you know this is one of the things that, you know, as a Unitarian and then the Buddhist, I kind of have to uh, work for social the, uh, justice. Mm-hmm. The the computer people should be able to tell you, you know, how often did he look at these pictures? When were they? Downloaded onto his computer. Right. How you know? How many times did he look at them? Things like that. And <clears throat> in in the request, I said that you know, being that all crimes have a date and a time associated with it, um, I'm requesting to know what were the date creation. Yeah. Or or the date modified of these. Um, suspected pictures and yeah. I also requested to know that you know he is um, accused of only having two pictures right so and somebody somebody maybe maybe drugged him and put these things on the computer that's kind of scary oh well um, yeah I also um, uh, I, I'm using um, uh, you, you know my mind 
confusing you. <laughs> well, he, yeah. yeah. He, well, people should be You're using working. my I, Carl. That's great that you went to the police department. <laughs> yeah. You're, so what what else are you? Well, I, I, uh, I if um, the uh, pictures were saved on his computer when he was at work or before he even had the computer, the computer's not password protected, and the computer was donated from someone, mm. uh, yeah. from someone to Troy. Oh, okay. Might not have been his yeah. pictures at all. Here's another message. Two we got pictures. Some more, yeah. That's weird. Mr. Ginsu again. What the fuck? Over. <laughs> oh. I'm sitting here fucking going, I'm awake now. Like, I have a question about Mr. Gensu. Dude, that's a uh, two minute long yep, yep, voicemail. Yeah, what is it going to say? What's your question? Fuck, talking to your forehead. Um, you said that you Mr. Gensu called on your first show. Not on the first one show. One time it was oh. your head. Oh, one time it was ten. Maybe yeah. like 40 or something. One time it eight. You should have your phone That's number like, up there. You stand up. 330 536 3802. I wonder if you. Do you like Mr. Ginsu? Sunshine on shoulders. When you was out there. In the sunshine. I wonder if you was happy. Because you, I guess, really wasn't that happy now. <laughs> three three zero five three six three eight zero two. Call and say, I have something to say, and this is what it is. I'm sorry, that's not legible. It's not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. Yep. What the fuck, over? Stop it, Carl. You're ruining everything. I just woke up. Carl, be nice lively, to yourself. I am fucking weak. Carl's weak ruining everything. <laughs> Stop it, Carl. Be nice to yourself. Woke me up, motherfucker. You hear no self hating in the program. Mm. Well, fucking. Stop hating yourself. Fuck <laughs> up. Mr. Ginsu. Except for I probably was like, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I remember that. Like, whatever, I don't even fucking know, man. Yeah. That was fucking... Has he ever... Have you met him, ever? No. We, we don't even know his name. Is this man so... Weird? When did he start Waking calling, up, if he didn't call your first episode? The second episode? No, it was like... Waking up is hard to do. <laughs> we were on the radio show for a long time, so he didn't call until Holy we were on TV for a hell, while. So he called, probably called around episode... You know where he lives, don't you? Uh. No, not... Yeah, not he lives in the Thurston County area because he watches what the, the show on TV. I thought, <laughs> I thought I remember hearing that, that he lives out, out like Martin, Martin sort of toward Carpenter and... It's possible. He lives in a trailer park, but there's a lot of trailer parks around here. Yeah. So I'm not sure where he lives, but he has a trailer park and he is in the Thurston County area because he can watch the show. Hmm. Oh, wow, we got a, a voicemail from John Fernelli. He went to China for a year. Maybe he's back. Did you get shocked by a microphone recently, Kenny? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, we also got this text. This Which one? Test text. Is this YDHWM discovered the show on YouTube? Watch the, the Lake the Band episode. Wow, we should call these people back. Uh, Does this Mr. Ginsu live in the trailer down by the river in the uh i don't think he does because is there i guess there's that one river but i don't the know if there's, is that what the, the, the shoots well I'm i don't know if there's any um uh what's it called the uh, river or any trailer parks by that river well i'm you know this is a joke that was on chris farley on saturday night live he says i live down in the trailer by the river or Oh yeah. oh yeah, down in the trailer, <laughs> down by the river. Yeah, Are you Chris in, Farley. Were you into that? Uh, yeah. Uh, that. Chris Farley is back when um, SNL was the 1994, and you know, I, I I was still connected to the um, uh, the boob tube at that point, but I I kind of severed ties around, you know, maybe 2001, 2003. That's when stuff started going downhill. You stopped watching TV. You I got on the internet, maybe, TV. though. Around when was that time? 1997? No, uh, oh, uh, Chris Farley was in SNL when I was in high school, which was 1991 to 1994. Oh, something went wrong. John. Hello? 
No, this is the this is the stranger. This is the stranger who watched the show on YouTube. Farinelli. So Farinelli left us a pick voicemail. Up. Pick up. Pick up. Okay. Yeah, was in the phone ring. The oh. Program. Uh-oh. Wait, can you hold... It's TV, can, can you hold on for a minute? Can complain? everybody we're on tv at 11 30 every, every night not am yeah on channel 22 is this channel i know right now we're kind of small in the reader board but when we're on the thing the words the over will be real here big. and down there so we're, we're gonna take up all that space i had a bird and uh carl back in the past see ya call the number i, I love you i love you <laughs> Yeah! We're back! They say the Who's back? Yeah, let's try to call this guy back again, because he answered for once when a commercial break, but then we lost him. They say Who's the back? Uh, we're, we're back from a commercial break. Uh, it's all of us. You're back too, Carl. You didn't even know it. Maybe you didn't even know it, yeah. I knew, I knew, I knew. Down the street, and you ain't had enough to eat. in downtown? Broadway, yeah. Oh, Broadway. The Neil Young version. You been listening to it? Oh, Hello, wow. this is Johnson Hope, please match. Oh, well, that's too bad. Maybe hey. you were talking to... Uh, oh, maybe I left a message for you already. We're on the program. I tried to talk to you in a message. Call us back, 20 yeah. more minutes. We're from YouTube, so call, yeah, call us back. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Maybe you we got a lot of voicemails. Yeah, we did. We got more than normal. Where are the other ones from? Do we have to listen to them all. Uh, we have. Yeah, we'll probably listen to them all. There's not that many more. This one's from John. Whoa, it's is from a long John. One? No. This one is not a long one. Oh. So how? <laughs> oh. you bird. How often do you get um shocked by the microphone? Oh, 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 your daily hour with me. Sure, John. Maybe you should wear some shoes. Wait, what do you say? Sorry. Ni hao, your daily hour with me. Ni hao. Sure, John. Shinza Award. Ni hao. Can you call back? Okay, fine. I think he said some stuff in Chinese. He's been in China for a year. How do so. how do people in China say China? Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Like you know, all the all, it, 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 I would think that all the uh, like the countries would be their actual names, but like. like Spanish is España, right? Yeah, and like Germany is Deutschland, and yeah. Japan is Nip Nippon or something. See, I don't know where all these names came from. So it's not like they have a different name. It seems like it's a proper noun. It should just be the name of the actual thing. Yeah. Like Italia. Like why can't we just call it Nippon? Yeah. Well, I guess maybe I could Italia. be their uh, translation expert. Do you know what China, China people in China call China? No, but I've um, spent a lot of time with... Uh, we should look it up on the internet right now. Are you going to look at the internet? I'm going to call somebody who knows. Don't call, look at the internet. That's All right. We're calling John. John might know. He went to China for a year. He might be out of... Wow. Hey, John! John. Yeah? It's the program. 
It's the program. program. Uh, we're on TV still. What? We we're, we're still on TV. I'm on the TV. Yeah. It's you, the uh, first time I've been on the TV in like a year, right? Yes. Yeah. Are you? I'm are in. You, I'm in. I'm in Colorado. Whoa. Hey, John. What what, what do they call China in China? Zhonghua. 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 The, yeah. the J sound is a Z-H, so it's called Z-H-O-N-G, and that means Zhonghua. Zhonghua. Well, I mean the Z-H-O-N-G-G-O-U, so Zhonghua, but Zhong is Z-H-O-N-G, which sounds like J-O-N-G, but uh, that's different what? in China. What does it mean? What it means is China. Uh, John, are you, you going to come back to Olympia at any time? Yeah. In like two weeks. In two so. weeks? So you come on the program, yeah? What? Will you come on the program when you come to Olympia? Yeah, if you have me. We will. Okay, yeah, I'll be back. In like, in the, on like the, in the 20s here, August 20-something? Um, yeah, the 20-something. I'll be there before September. Oh, okay. What's uh? What's something that you saw in China there? Something I saw in China? Yeah. Okay, so one thing that like stood out in my memory is I was not Beijing. I was traveling at the time, but I was walking down a street and I saw a bunch of policemen with a bunch like big sticks, like sticks bigger than themselves, and they were yelling at some guy, and then the guy happened to be on a motorcycle. And then he revved up his motorcycle and tried riding past the policeman. And the policeman started hitting him with his, their stick. And he had gone pretty fast. It broke his rear view mirror, but he got away. Whoa. Yeah, and then later I saw the policemen and women with their big sticks. And they were stopping every person on the motorcycle. So I don't really know what happened. I tried asking in Chinese, but my Chinese wasn't good enough at the time. Yeah. And from what I understood, this person was going way too fast. But I think that <laughs> these other people had like motorcycles that weren't actually registered. Oh wow! You or speak, something. You speak Chinese now? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Huh? You speak Chinese now? What? Do you do you speak Chinese now after after the year? Of course he does. Do I speak Chinese? Yeah. Yeah, I can speak a little Chinese. Wow. I'm not fluent, but I can like talk some talk some Chinese. Yeah, what's fluent? Well, uh, that sounds good. Hey, John, we'll we'll talk to you later. We'll keep calling you, and we'll see you in the twenty somethings. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, thanks, John. Bye bye. What are you doing? Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. Oh, he said something in Chinese about to bye. You're. I like Chinese food. Chinese are doing pretty good in the Olympics. You watching the Olympics, Carl? Uh, the Olympics. Yeah. It's really interesting for me in a personal standpoint in that, oh, we need to keep viewers, so we need to have swimmers in, like, you know, um, microfiber latex, mm -hmm. you know, so they'll swim faster. They'll break records. Yeah. And we got to have, you know... People continuing in to uh, watch and, and um, you know generate advertising revenue. Really? Uh huh. You know it makes no sense to me. I'm I'm pretty much unplugged from all traditional media as one could possibly be unplugged. You think they shouldn't be advertising for the Olympics? Exploited commercially. Uh -oh. Exploited commercially. Damn, um, and a movie. Okay, I've got enough time for me to call you back after. No. What movie? Called oh, Snake Eyes. Okay, bye. With Nicholas Cage. Is it on? Oh, Are you in the movie theater? You're talking to in the movie theater? No, I'm in my basement watching the movie on Team Mountain. Oh, take a break then. <laughs> yeah, I just walked upstairs. Oh, you did? Okay, I sorry. My uncle Dan, so I, I keep missing parts. It's actually a good movie. Oh yeah, we gotta call Dan. He left us a well, message. Actually, you know, it's probably not a good movie. It's probably I only think it's a good movie because I keep missing a bunch of parts, so I'm like confused. 
Yeah. Well, I, we'll, we'll make it fast. How's the production that's going there? It's going good. The uh, episodes are running on YouTube. Is that Bird there in the studio? Oh, yeah, it's Bird and Carl. Friday. Oh, Carl. What up? Oh, cool, Carl. Yeah, I'm excited to, I'm excited to see your episode, Carl. It's going to be a good one. All right, it's time for the dice game. Carl and I dice both game? won in dice. Yeah. Carl won, and then he changed his answer after he won. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't understand the rules. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. Well, well, I want to pick a number. I want to pick a uh, six. But that's what I picked. How's, how's I picked the, the six. Oh, oh double six. Oh! Double, six. double sixes, bro. Cars. You won big time. Indeed. Oh, wow. hey. I, I shook them right. Today, today all the points are worth 37 points. No. August. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Drew, I'm sorry. It's August. We're doing 37 points now. Starting today. So, so 36 or 37? 37. How'd you decide 37? It's, 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 we just decided, we've decided it. So you got three. How though? No. <laughs> it's arbitrary. You got three. Three. You got three yeah. rolls, right? I, so how many points I, I, is that? That's uh, ninety plus twenty-one is. Uh, no, thirty. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven times two is what? Seventy-four, right? Seventy-four. Yeah, seventy-four. Yeah, but Carl and I each got three times thirty-seven. Yeah. So, uh, so what's thirty-seven yeah. times three? Seventy-four plus. 37 is 4, that's 1, 2, uh, 14? No. 114. 114, yeah. 114 points. Yeah, but, um, wow. that doesn't count, because I, oh, um, I called the 6, but I didn't know I was supposed oh, yeah. to break Carl, down you didn't the get, 6. You didn't get it. Bird and Freddy, they won. Yeah. They're Carl, always winners. Didn't, didn't, you didn't win today. I'm a loser. You, you made a mistake. Yeah, me too. All right, so you see the four, right? Oh, now there you have four, yeah. Well, that's a big four. Yeah, that's a big well, four. Again. I, I need to get out the one in the three, the Whoa. one slash three that I Did wrote on my hand. Did you No, he didn't change it. It doesn't count. But uh, how's that production thing going for it? Everything's good? Oh, well, two minus I six is four. Well. Yeah, I thought um, <laughs> sometime tomorrow morning where I might try to make some background tape stuff. Um, but other than that, we're, you know, keeping up to date. We're going to be on, on TV in a second here, and uh, I've got, we've got scheduled. <clears throat> I've actually got everything except for the episode you guys are currently taping right now captured and on my computer. I just need to go through them and give them some titles and uh, put the secret message on and, and, and put it through to playback. So it's Great. going really well, I think. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of work. Well, You're we're, for, we're, we're on the, the time crunch. Thanks we have to make two, two more calls before the show is over today. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Uh, you guys should check out this movie, Snake Eyes. It's got Nick Cage in it, and uh, he plays a bad cop. It's kind of like the, uh, the prequel to The Bad Lieutenant. So if you've seen The Bad Lieutenant, you'll probably really like Snake Eyes. Check it out. He does a boxing match. He's not actually boxing, but he's betting on boxing, and he's a bad cop. It's pretty fun. Okay. Okay, thanks, Freddy. All right, talk to you guys later. There it uh, goes. Okay, here, let's call it McDonald's. You like, oh, you don't like McDonald's, right, Carl? I can handle McDonald's in the person's name for crying out loud. Come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> that passed over your head like a 747. Yeah, what'd you Unbelievable. Say? What'd you say? I don't get it. <laughs> I said I can handle McDonald's in the person's name. Oh, but not the food. Or not, not the, the food itself. Do you, uh, That's where I have to draw the line. What do you, do you like, like to the, eat healthy? You're okay with the family. What, what's your dialect? Yeah, just as long as they're not axe murderers or something. You like to eat healthy, Carl? Uh, yes, I do. You eat the, uh, what, like a mm, co-op food, or or do you eat well, salads I, like hamburgers in general? N no, no meat, but um. Um, I don't oh, you're shop a vegetarian, at the, huh? Right, but I don't shop at the co-op, and I don't walk enough for Whoa. it to be... Whoa. Whoa, echo! Whoa, echo! 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 Okay, here we go. We're gonna call... Oh! Oh, echo! It sounds like Star Wars. We're gonna call the Smith McDonald's in, in Fort Wayne, Oregon. Your head sounds like Star Wars, bird. 
how, how, how long have you been meat? not eating meat, Carl? Um, <laughs> since Oprah Winfrey had her, you know, spat with the Texas cattle industry, and I'm like, Oprah really? convinced you not to eat meat? Well, she had an expose <coughs> uh, through uh, Texas, and that was just like, um, what do the Texas sprit renters have to hide, you know, so... Mm -hmm. So you saw you saw this Oprah Winfrey program. And you decided not to eat meat. Or I heard about it, and I was like, okay, well, this is a little bit too much in terms of um, uh, what is, you know, um, good practices for you know having food. Mm -hmm. And and so I just kind of drew the line right there. We're trying to call Portland McDonald's, but this one's not answering. Call one in... Oh, we Yeah, we have to call uh, the Pacific Coast cause, or Hawaii because they're uh, the only ones that are going to be open right now in the time zone. Maybe we can call China tomorrow when John is on. You, you're calling um, McDonald's in Portland? Yeah, I'm trying to. At least it's oh my goodness, that's why you said... Well, Here, we'll call this next one. I guess that would be okay. It's okay, we're doing it. Hopefully it's not not okay because it's happening. They serve a lot of high fructose corn syrup there. Yeah, what do you what do you like to eat then? It's like salads? Um, yeah, yogurt and whatnot. But hey, second and three this is Paul, how can I help you? Hey McDonald's, do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? I'm sorry? Do you guys have the orange milkshakes, Arctic Orange? Uh, right now, we don't have any shakes because our shake machine is not working. Oh, uh, what happened to it? Oh, it's just, it's, uh, it's just coming out too runny right now. Oh, what are you going to, you going to get a repairman in there? Oh, we should have a repair, hopefully he's down there. Is it really hot there? So, uh, I'm not sure if they're out yet. I don't, I don't believe they are. So, when? but you can definitely try, no, you can definitely call like 82nd and Stark McDonald's, you can ask them. and. They will be able to answer you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, yep, no problem. Have a good one. All right. Runny shakes. Yeah, they're too runny. So you, you're not happy about calling McDonald's their car? You look disappointed with calling McDonald's. <laughs> Kenny does it every day. I'm used to it. I, I've become desensitized. You think it's you think it's not supporting them? I mean, kind of. I, I do support them. I like the eat there. I think I ate there earlier today, but uh, the calls the call <clears> aren't necessarily supporting them. How much money are they paying you? They are doing one of that. They're like one of the sponsors of the Olympics that you don't like. Hi, Kenny. This is Dan. How you doing? You guys. You're going bad, bye. Uh-oh, we only have one minute left. We should call Dan Dobler back. Do you want to come back on the program in the, in the, in the end of August, Carl? I think you're, you're, a, you're a good guest so far. You don't have to say yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm being forced. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you're not being forced. I am asking. I'm, asking I'm being co-opted. No, no, I'm not even asking. <laughs> I'm not even asking you to come on. I could say no. I'm actually asking if you would like to, and then maybe I'll say no. Uh, yeah. I, I'm I'm sensing there's a dog leash in here somewhere. Come on, uh, say, would you like to come on the program at the end of the month? Sure. Or? Yes. Yes. I'll go. I'll, wanna, I'll be back. You want to pick a day? I'll be back. For, don't pick Saturdays. Hi. Hello, Dan. Hi. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Program. Hi. How you doing? Good. We're on TV again. You know that, though, right? Yeah. What you doing? Uh, I, I'm, I'm right in the restroom. You're in a restroom? What, what'd you say? Uh, what? I'm right in the restroom. You're getting arrested? What? Are you are you getting arrested? Thanks, Dave. Dates. Thanks, crew. crew. I don't know if I'm on there, but that's okay. I think you're on there. Thanks, viewers. Oh, there he goes. This is Dan. Thanks, uh, TCTV. Hi, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Carl. You're welcome. Thanks, USA. TheVivid.com. Check it out. Hell yeah, dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not whispering about. <laughs>
on the tape commercial now. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>